So good morning, AFC family. My name is Jose, I'm one of the nurse practitioners at AFC Urgent Care at Vintage and at Heights. And the reason for today's video is we're gonna to try to talk to you about fevers and fevers control. So the big thing is we wanna know what medication to give, when to give it, how much to give. So before we even start, we have to know how much your baby weighs, right? So we actually start with their weight in pounds. Do they weigh 22 pounds? Do they weigh anywhere to 44 pounds? So from here, we know pound, we wanna calculate kilograms. In order to get kilograms, we have to start with our weight in pounds, and then we've divided by 2.2 pounds per one kilogram. So when we do this, we cancel out our pounds, and now we have 10 kilograms. So this is our weight in kilograms for our 22 pound baby. For our 44 pound baby, we do something similar. We have 44 pounds divided by 2.2, and now we have 20 kilograms. So the weight is actually very important whenever we wanna do this because our dosings for both Tylenol and Ibuprofen, which are two different anti-fever medications, are based on kilograms. So I'm gonna erase this real quick, and then we'll go on to our first calculation. So the first thing we're gonna talk about is Motrin, which is also known as ibuprofen. So this medication is pretty important because it not only works as a fever reducer, it's also an anti-inflammatory. So the dosing for ibuprofen is gonna be 10 milligrams per kilogram. And so we know that we're gonna give our patient 10 milligrams for every one kilogram of weight. And so we know our first patient is 10 kilograms. So this is our 22 pound baby. We cross out the kilograms and we're gonna give them 100 milligrams per dose. And the same thing will apply for our 20 kilogram baby. We'll give them 10 milligrams per kilogram. And so they will get 200 milligrams. So we know how much our baby needs to get. And so now we look at how much this actually equates to in terms of the liquid. So we need 100 milligrams for one and 200 milligrams for the other. So ibuprofen is typically dosed at 100 milligrams per five milliliters. So this eventually equates to 20 milligrams per one milliliter. So when we do this, we know we need to give our first child 100 milligrams, and then we're gonna give them the one milliliter for 20 milligrams. We'll cross this out, and now we know our child needs to get five milliliters of ibuprofen for our 22 pound baby. Same concept, we'll go 200 milligrams and we'll do the 20 milligrams per one milliliter. We cross out our milligrams and now we need to know we give them 10 milliliters per dose. So along with this, you kind of also have to know that ibuprofen actually comes in multiple strengths. The most common for kids is of course the one we talked about, the 100 milligrams per five mLs but we also have to be careful because sometimes you'll even get the 50 milligrams per 3.75 mLs, which is typically infant dose. So let's be safe. And of course, if at any point you don't know how much to give or which to give, just give us a call and we'll be happy to help. The next thing we'll talk about is Tylenol, which is also known as acetaminophen. Now this one is gonna be 15 milligrams per kilogram. We have the 10 kilogram baby, and we also have the 20 kilogram baby. So same thing, we're gonna do 15 milligrams 
per kilogram. We have 150 milligrams for our first child. And then we have 300 for our second child. So these are the doses we're gonna to wanna to try to get per dose. So when calculating this, it is a little bit different because Tylenol isn't as easy to convert, but I'll walk you through the conversion as well. So Tylenol typically comes in a dosing of 160 milligrams per five mLs. So when we do this, we wanna know how much per milliliter. So we have 160 milligrams per five mLs, which ends up being about 32 milligrams for every one milliliter. So now we are gonna calculate this out for both our kids. So we have the 15 milligrams per kilogram for our 10 kilogram kid. So we need to know, we need to give him three or 150 milligrams and our 20 pound kid is gonna get 300 milligrams. So this is the actual dose of the medication. It's not necessarily how much of the liquid we're gonna give him or her. So now we have 150 milligrams that we need to give and we have our strength of 32 milligrams per one ml. So we have the 150 divided by 32. It's gonna be just under five. Let's see, could I have a calculator, some assistance from our boss? 4.6. Four point six eight. So this person's gonna get four point six eight, and in order to be safe, we could just do four point five mLs. Same thing. Now we have three hundred milligrams divided by thirty-two milligrams per mL. Now can I get a little assistance? New calculation: three hundred divided by thirty-two. Nine point three seven five. 9.375, thank you so much. And of course you can just round to nine mLs on this so you don't overdo it. So for this, it's just a quick, simple way to calculate it. If you kind of want to cheat, sometimes what you can do is get your weight in kilograms and divide it by two. So we have our 10 kilogram kid, we divide it by two, it's usually about five, 20 kilogram kid, divide by two equals 10. So these are pretty good estimates to kind of help guide you if you went a little too high or too low. So if you're around this range, it probably means your calculations are correct. So big thing, always medicate your kid if we advise you to, but at the same time, if you feel a little reluctant to do it, just don't hesitate to give us a call. One of our clinics is always willing to help or don't hesitate to come back to the clinic and we'll try to help you through it. Um, and that's our video for today. Uh, we hope to come up with more content, help everybody else who comes into our clinic as well. Thank you.